Okay, we are now live. Am I live? We're telling you that you started a live video. Cool. Okay, cool. We're just waiting till everybody joins in because nobody's here yet. And it's 11 and I think I may have... Hello. Hi, Yosef. Oh, Marco's here. Um, I'm waiting till everyone joins in. Um, I also realized that when I put the timer or the schedule on, it said, I think it said 12 p.m. CST. So if you are here, thank you for joining us. Hello, um, Chinta, we're, we'll talk about that once everyone joins in. Um, we'll like wait for a few minutes until, until everyone joins in. Also, I got myself some coffee quickly, so might as well get you on, get you on, the, on that. Hey, um, hello Disney World, welcome here. Okay, welcome, welcome, join us here. We're gonna be talking uh, with another teacher today, so um, keep keep on a lo uh, keep a lookout to that because we're gonna be waiting for for him. Um, okay. Um, Marco, are you here? Can you say hello to everybody? Marco. Okay, I'm gonna invite our friend Marco. And yeah, we're gonna start um, our conversation. We're actually gonna be talking about, a little bit about us. Hi, Marco. Okay, I'm gonna just invite you on call. Um, or if you can request to join at the bottom there, I believe you can do that. Or, oh, I don't know why I'm not, it's not letting me, there we go. Okay, hello everybody, welcome here, good morning, after evening, I don't know what time it is in the world, but it's morning here. And hi hello. Marco, and I hi, Grace. Good afternoon. Hello. Can you hear me clearly? Yeah, totally. I can hear you. I can see you. I hope the others can too. Uh, big hello to everyone that joined. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this today, actually. I'm sorry if my hat is too big. I apologize. If it's <laughs> no, too much. No problem. <laughs> I'm also quite tiny. So that's, that's a difference here. Um, I should have brought like something that holds the camera or something. I, I don't know the, the the you know those plastic things that you see in shopping malls and you never want to buy them. And in the moments like this, you realize, yeah, I should have bought this one. Right. It's some sort of um. It's like a selfie stick, but it holds on the. Yeah. There's like that. Oh, good question. I'm forgetting the word or what's it called, but. It's a stabilizer. Um, Sta yes, yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Marco, for joining us here. Um, yeah. Welcome. Um, we're going to maybe wait a little bit, and then I would love to uh, have you introduce yourself. Um, so what, before that, though, how was your morning? Yeah, it's great. I mean, I had some amazing dreams. I can't remember because you, usually you lose the idea of what in the first 10 minutes after you wake up, you, you totally forget everything. But yeah, I, yeah, yeah. here's the thing. I was, dream that, uh, I was dreaming about a Formula One and uh, there was like a narration and a voice about one curve, like one, one curve or chicane in Formula One. And the narrator said that this chicane or curve inspired Queen uh, to make oh, a song like Don't Stop Me Now. You know that song. Yeah, the Don't Stop Me Now. I think I, I think. Oh. Who's that? No, no, no. Somebody joined. I have no idea. Um, hello, you can cancel. Wait, no, I want to end the live video. There we go. Sorry, I don't know what happened there. I think I accidentally pressed something that 
Um, <laughs> join. Anyways, um, sorry, Marco, that was a little bit of a distraction there, but. It's okay. It's okay. It's like a dream. It was like a dream. I was talking about the dream, by the way, and it was it was the curve. And when I woke up, I realized that like did it did it really happen? It would because it would be amazing if that literally happened. Unfortunately, I googled, and the song is inspired by you know flamboyant life of Freddie Mercury. So it has nothing to do with Formula One and no chicane or nothing. But it was a you know funny dream. It was it was cool. So. That's how I woke up, and now I'm drinking my coffee. Looking forward to this. Nice. Thanks a lot. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to get started here. Um, I'm going to start with my introduction. So my name is Grace Salam. I have been working. If you, if all of you are interested or um, wondering who is who are these people, uh, we're working with HZ Education. Um, I've been with HZ for almost three years now. I've um, I work specifically with um, pronunciation, um, general English, and I've also taught self and IELTS here and there, um, but mainly um, English as a second language and um, phonology and linguistics, the deeper part of English in, in sort of ways. So um, yeah, so that's me. I am living in Canada. I have one son and a, um, a husband. So um, our family is growing, hopefully slowly, uh, <laughs> but um, but yeah, it's summer here in Canada, so it's been such a lovely, lovely weather. We love the sun. It's been very mm. cold lately, so it's a treat to see the sun and the warm weather. Um, okay, I'm going to pass it on to you, Marco. Um can you introduce yourself? Sure, sure. Thanks a lot. Thanks for a beautiful introduction, Grace. Uh, I'm, I'm happy about your uh, small family getting bigger. And um, um, thanks a lot for introducing us about the summer because we know that in Canada, it's, uh, it's basically snow, 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 and a little bit of sun and then back to snow. So, um, yeah, as, a, as you mentioned, my name is Marco. I'm, uh, well, I have... In the past three years, I've been doing a lot of self and IELTS teaching. Uh, I started that by accident, actually. My wife introduced me into all that, so she said, why don't you try doing that uh, online work? A lot of my colleagues and friends are doing that. They are, they are, do, they are doing online teaching. And I was thinking, sure, I want to try, but I, have, I know nothing about it. But I started to like it. I started to, to like that stuff and, um, I, you know, you grow some connections with your students and uh, uh, the enjoyment when you see them uh, prosper, when you, when you see their achievements, it's something very motivating and keeps you going. So that brought me to HZ. Uh, since March, I've been here, I've been working. Uh, it's a little bit different, like, like any other job, it's different, it has... Um, some amazing things, uh, and uh, I'm still here, and I like it. Yeah. Nice. Uh, what are your favorites? So, just um, some question, and want to get mm. to know you a little bit. Um, and this is mainly conversational um, mm -hmm. live video here. So, um, what are some of your favorite moments when you are, you know, when you're online and teaching and getting to know your students? Well, I sometimes I use jokes, right? And some of the jokes don't work. Some of them work. So I, I use them as an icebreaker because you want you want your students to participate. But you know, most people are shy. They don't like that, and there's like a fear of fear of performance, like a stage fright or something. So when we practice speaking lessons or conversation. Sometimes it's really hard to get them to participate. So I, I start joking and I start making fun of uh, how you're not supposed to uh, do, do these tasks and stuff. So they start laughing. And when they start laughing, I'm like, okay, I'm, that's good. That's good. I'm, then I, I remember the jokes and I remember the things. So I use them later. And um, basically the positive experience, the connection that you have with students, uh, I cannot think of any particular or specific situation that happened mm -hmm. but i would say that usually um when you 
jump from that, you know, very serious relationship. I'm a teacher, you're a student. When you jump from that yeah. and when we develop this kind of friendly relationship, uh, that's when things get serious, actually. That's when we actually work on something. And I like that. It's a step forward. Nice. That's really great. I think icebreaker is so important. And it's such a great way to, uh, you know, it's like a first impression to your students. So if we're going to dive right into uh, like a lesson right away, mm -hmm. it's like, oh, like mm -hmm. what? Like, I don't know you. Mm -hmm. Oh, you want to be able to mm -hmm. give that, you know, share some like mutual understanding that, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm just a person, I'm teaching you, but we're learning together and, you yeah. know, creating jokes and cracking jokes. It's like a great way for them to feel at home and to feel safe in a learning environment. So that's amazing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So um, besides, um, besides, teaching uh, what are some interesting things that you like to do H, um you know besides HDAD education what else do you do Marco? well um well I, I like to do many things right so as you can see these pictures here I did them because I think you know you can do geometry yeah thanks and I think you can do geometry you can do simple stuff and still frame it and make it an art uh, um, I like to do art and I like to use everyday items to show people that you don't need to be talented to, to create some things, right? You, you, you don't need to have yeah. expensive uh, uh, tools or buy expensive uh, materials to create something nice. You can create something nice out of everything. So I like to make simple geometrical arts to show people that, you know, if I can do it, you can do it too. And, um, yeah. My friends like it. So I started doing this sort of, uh, in my free time. I like to make paintings to my friends and I like to, it's, it's nothing special. I mean, it's, you know, I, I draw a leaf and that's it. Ta-da, you know, and people like it and I like to do it because um, I want to show people there is no excuse. If you want to do something you like, you, and you also have to have some kind of hobby. I like cooking. Oh my God, I love pasta so much and I shouldn't be eating it, but I love Italian pasta. I could eat it every day. Spaghetti, spaghetti, spaghetti. Yeah. Nice. Oh, and Leela, hello, Grace and Marco. Hi, Daniela. Um, hi, Daniela. Welcome here. Hello, Daniela. Thank you for supporting. Um, yeah, thank you so much for joining us. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to send us our, you know, send us a question at the comments there. Um, yeah, we're just having conversations here and getting to know um, each other and um, you will definitely continually, you know, get, stretch out a little bit and throw um, not just mm -hmm. Cheyenne's faith here um, on mm -hmm. HSAD. So we're kind of putting in new faces slowly in, um, mm -hmm. in our page, but cool. Thanks for, for joining us, Daniela. Um, We'd Thanks, Daniela. Say. Thanks for support. Yeah. So, so cooking is your favorite um, thing to do. That's nice. I feel like you're yep. very, you really like to go out there and do some creativity with, I mean, use your, you know, even like learn new skills, like geom geometric yeah. art. Like art, those things are, you know, kind, kind mm. of difficult, but I feel like you're right. Nowadays, it's so easy to find resources mm. to learn those things cool yeah that's the, that, that's the difference between I, I saw a really nice meme uh th that shows a, two people talking about the art and one person goes like oh my god you're so amazing you know how to draw and the other person goes yeah well look, practice a lot oh you must be really talented and have such a yeah but i practice a lot no 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 it's a god gift gift from the God, I will never, no, 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 I practice, I will never going to be able to draw like this. Just practice, just draw. Same with cooking. Um, I don't know if you've noticed on Instagram, there are a lot of videos on how you're supposed to cook. And when I was a kid, uh, my mom used to write down the recipe. And there's a big difference between reading the recipe and actually watching and memorizing visually what you're supposed to do. So 
thanks to social media and YouTube and short clips, now you can make so many good uh, 